so my name is Sylvia. I'm not an, an academic in uh, computer science. I'm the international recruitment manager uh, from uh, Brunel University London. So I work in the international office to help our international students to apply to study at Brunel University. Um, so today I'm going to just do a little bit introduction about the university in general and with the focus on computer science and what we offer for the students who is going to study computing related programs. So before I go into computer science, I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, the university in general and our heritage. So we are named after the, a great uh, British uh, mechanical and civil engineer, Yun Sanbad, the Kingdom Brunel. Um, he is a Victorian engineer, uh, has done some great work all over the UK. Um, his designs uh, were very revolutionary um, for his time. And that's what the university um, always want to be. We want to be the innovator. Uh, we want to be um, helping our students to uh, achieve uh, their dreams. Uh, we're also very practical. Um, and then because and, uh, Brunel is a engineer, so the university started as a uh, engineering and technology uh, college. And in 1966, we gained our royal charter and become a comprehensive university. Um, because um, top courses mentioned ranking, so um, so we are a comprehensive university, which means we do offer both undergraduate, postgraduate, and doctorate uh, degrees, and we also offer our foundations and apprenticeships for um, um, both home and international students. Um, worldwide. Uh, we are ranked quite consistently around 350 uh, for both the QS World University rankings. Um, it's quite consistent for us uh, for the past several years. Um, and then in the recent times, higher education uh, World University impact ranking, uh, we ranked 58th in the world uh, for our um, education and research impact. Um, and that is a, a ranking, uh, we got that among uh, more than 1,400 uh, 1, universities worldwide. And in terms of, uh, we are also a very dynamic international university. Uh, being ranked highly in the international outlook um, means not only we have a large international student body, we also have a lot of international staff. And then our staff research has a lot of international collaboration and has a lot of impact worldwide. And so we, um, we do many computing related subjects and they're mainly in the field of computer science, uh, which is about the application of computing, uh, computing engineering, kind of the, the de development of the computer systems and then also in digital design. And I will talk about that uh, in a little bit uh, more details. So in terms of undergraduate, uh, degrees. Uh, the biggest feature for our university, uh, Brunel, is we allow all our undergraduate students, regardless of home or international students, to go on a sandwich year for a full year of work placement. Um, and that is a cross board. So uh, for our students in the clinical courses, their placements are built in uh, into the degree. And then for students in any other subjects, you will be able to um, take a year out between your second and the third year, uh, student on student visa, uh, and then to do a year of uh, full-time work experience uh, with the sponsor from um, S University, and then you will go into the industry to, re to gain real work experience. In terms of our computing uh, related subjects at undergraduate level, uh, we do uh, business computing and computer science, and both of those are in the computer science department. Uh, so one is more focused on computer science and then we have different pathways uh, developed because we understand uh, the employers these days, they do like to see uh, the students have more specialized skills in a particular area. So we give our students a choice at a very early stage and you can either do a generic computer science degree, or you can get to specialize in a particular area. And that's from uh, artificial intelligence to digital media, to game, to software development, to human computer interaction. So there's a lot of 
there are a lot of choices. And I will also send you to your work placement. So you can try out whether that field that you have chosen um, from the end of your high school is this still kind of the career you want to pursue. You get the real industry experience and then you can find out whether that suits you. Uh, and then hopefully most of our students uh, will come back, confirm that's what they absolutely want to do for the rest of their life. Uh, a lot of them, we, they do come back with the job offer. Uh, so they don't need to worry about that in their final year. Uh, and then occasionally a student would say, oh, that's what I thought I wanted to do. But then uh, because they got exposed to something else in their placement year, and then they're gonna move on to a different field, a different area to pursue uh, their future career. And then in addition to the kind of computer science courses we have in business computing and computer science, we also do computing related subjects in the other departments. So uh, because um, kind of internationally things are categorized into uh, different like faculties and departments. Uh, so here at Brunel, uh, our uh, game design, digital design, and uh, visual effect, motion graphics. So these are uh, more creative subjects. Uh, they are in our design school, and they would allow you. Uh, it would still allow our students to get uh, kind of like a digital. Um, skills rather than kind of computing skills. And then for those who are particularly interested in computing engineering, uh, we also have computing engineering programs. So uh, you can do a computer system engineering, or you can do a, uh, an engineering degree in artificial intelligence, uh, which will then you will become the person not just apply to use the artificial intelligence technology, but as to develop uh, uh, the artificial intelligence technology kind of in the background. And um, I've also got a little bit video. Uh, let me try if I can play this and if you can hear the sound. Uh, if it works, well, let's play it. If not, then we'll just move on. In the Department of Computer Science, there are two themes to degree programs, computer science and business computing. Business computing is devoted more to the organisational and business aspects of um, IT, computer science, more the formal mathematical principles of computing. What first attracted me to Brunel was at the time when I was applying, a lot of my friends were talking about the events that they went to, the societies that they joined, and it sounded really exciting and I really wanted to just, I just really wanted to go to that uni. The course is distinct in a, a variety of ways. We use robots in our programming for undergraduate first year and to a certain extent second year programs. We also use drones increasingly in our teaching and, and also in our research. What I really like about the teachers is that they specialise in different areas. For example, you've got lecturers who specialise in network computing, some in games development, some in artificial intelligence. And it's just so interesting because they work on projects. They don't just teach, they work on these projects and you get to go up to them and ask them about it, which is so cool. On the four year placement programme, we place students with a variety of companies from companies in the City of London, such as AXA, Accenture, Bank of England, and the roles they tend to, to, to fulfill in those placements are programming roles, um, network analysis roles. I did a placement at Accenture as a software engineer associate. I got a lot of support from the professional development team who were really great. They helped me with my CV, my cover letter, my interview and if it wasn't for them I probably probably wouldn't have got my placement so I'm very grateful. We have everything on campus. We have a pharmacy, we have a grocery shop, we have restaurants, we have coffee shops, we have everything. <laughs> the advice that I would give to a potential fresher is to talk to your lecturers because they're so interesting, they're there to help you and they're, they're always interested to hear what you have to say. So don't be afraid to, to go up at the end of a lecture or book some time to speak to them. So that's just a video from the academic and our current student. 
uh, who have done the computing uh, programs themselves. So hope that gives you a taste of what we do. And uh, so you have seen the robots and the drone um, that they use in the computer science teaching. So we have this game called Adopt adopt a robot uh, for our first and second year students in computer science, which they can get their very own robot from the university um, on a loan, <laughs> and then, which they do need to uh, give back at the end of the second year, uh, and then to do their programming on the real robots, uh, and while at the same time they complete their group or individual projects. Um, and moving on to the postgrad subjects, so we have much uh, fewer uh, postgraduate uh, subjects compared with what we offer at undergraduate level. So that's just the field that we feel people want to specialize with us and where our research is, uh, is strong. Um, so in computer science, we do artificial intelligence, uh, digital service design, and the data analytics. So they are kind of the most trendy uh, topic uh, and also the research areas where also where kind of the most jobs are for our graduates um, and then in computing engineering we do uh, wireless and computer communications networks uh, it is in the electronic and electrical engineering department but they do take students um, from either engineering or computer science background um, and then for those who want to polish their digital and design skills uh, they have the choice to do either the digital service design which is more focused has a more of a focus on the programming and kind of the kind of architecture side of the uh, digital kind of the platform that apps that the person uses and um, or they can do a more kind of like a design uh, stream of a digital design and branding uh, so that also takes students either from a design background or a computer science background so you will have this real mix of students in the class uh, to collaborate either on your individual or on your group projects together um, and on top of that we also do a, a a digital game uh, degree which combines the theory and also the practice so for the game design they not only just look at kind of how to develop a game but then they also look at the core of the game that what keeps people play the same game and also like the ethics kind of uh, in the industry and things like that and to get our students uh, the uh, necessary skills for their future research and uh, employment, uh, we do host a lot of events, not just fun events for you to socialize, but kind of the professional events that will set you that first step into your career. Uh, so our courses are all fully credited. So if you do the digital, you got the digital skill set tick tick. And then if you're in the engineering and computer science, you got the Institute of Engineering and Technology accreditation. Uh, so for those who do then become a software engineer or a company engineer, you will be able to work on the path to gain your chartered engineer status. Um, and we also do, so as I said, we do uh, a lot of um, kind of professional events. So if you are doing computer science and computer engineering, you can either join the engineering degree show or you can do the Made in Brunel uh, software innovation uh, degree show. And then for those on a kind of a digital stream, uh, we have the digital media showcase. Uh, and then Brunel Digital also has they keep their own uh, website to showcase every individual student's work. Um, Made in Brunel is a big thing that we do at Brunel for all our uh, kind of like um, engineering and design students. Um, that's kind of in the same uh, school, uh, in the same college with the computer science. So uh, we not only just present the kind of the finished products that our students do, we also have our uh, computer science and the digital uh, design students who come on to talk about the, their concept, the, the ideas to uh, showcase to the people from the industry. So all these events, we invite uh, guests and the uh, potential employers from the industry to come to see our students work, our students projects, and they were giving a lot of uh, life briefing uh, throughout their study. So they get kind of that real world experience um, as soon as they join us uh, for the degree study. 
And so we already talked a lot of about like the support we do for our student uh, in computer science. And I just want to speak a little bit about uh, kind of our generic offer in the professional development center. Um, so we um, this thing set Brunel different. This thing differentiate us from other university is we really uh, help our students uh, to get uh, their uh, careers and professional development start while they're with us. Um, so for students in our computer science, uh, if for the students who have taken the placement option uh, in their study, 100% of the students are in employment and, and for the studies um, after graduate within 15 months. With, um, so um, I think if you ask me what, why should you study at Brunel rather than at a different university for computer science or for any other subjects, I would say where the university can really put you in, uh, in, the, in the job, in a real life uh, career. Uh, and I want to share with you at the end some of uh, our students' um, profiles. So we have Lorenzo, who is a 2019 uh, computing engineering um, graduate and he was originally from Italy and he did his uh, placement in London and then uh, after graduation he became a software engineer, uh, engineer uh, in London and he still uh, works as a, a embedded software engineer as of today and now we have uh, our students from uh, all over the world. So I have also like another Saudi student's profile, which I didn't put here. And then we have Mort, uh, who, Mohammed, uh, who is from uh, Malaysia, uh, who completed the PhD with us and now moved on to Sheffield Hallam University to become the lecturer there. Uh, we got um, Ali uh, from Pakistan who did the, so this is the old name of the digital design courses. And, and now he moved on um, and he started his career as a visual, uh, as a VFX trainee and then become a VFX artist and then become the VFX supervisor. And now he is the head of production with ice animation um, in Pakistan. And now uh, we have our students from Zimbabwe who did a computer science degree. And um, so when I said we support our students with their career go, it's not only just uh, to put you in a corporate job. So in Takunda's case, um, so he wanted to start his own business. He never worked for anyone. So he uh, started his own business as, um, from, graduate, from the day he graduates and then he works as a uh, product strategist and then work for his own studio and provide uh, service for all different clients. Um, so we got like loads of, of these students from all different countries. Uh, they come to Brunel, did a degree, but they not only just did the degree, a lot of them, they have done like work experience and placement during their degree. And then when they uh, finish their degree, they uh, kind of start at a slightly higher level and ahead in their kind of like job search and in their career development uh, compared with a lot of their peers. Um, at the end, so this is a, a, a picture of our campus 
Uh, so even though we're in London, we because we are in uh, West London Zone Six, so this does allow us to have the biggest single site campus among all the London universities. So you will have that authentic university lifestyle. Uh, you got all your teaching, your accommodation, uh, your sports, the social events, um, your uh, GP, your pharmacy. Everything is on one campus. Uh, we got to got a lot of like social places, um, so you can um, have your a restaurant, a cafe, supermarket, everything is on our campus. Um, even though we are slightly further out in this, uh, in the kind of the suburb of London, uh, we are on the TFL underground uh, uh, network. And then you can travel through either Metropolitan Line or Piccadilly Line. And that's very easy to take you into central London. Uh, and then we have plenty of accommodation choices for our students. Uh, for undergraduate students, you will be guaranteed um, a room throughout the whole duration when you study with us. Um, and then for postgraduate students who come with the family, um, our accommodation office also earn a lot of properties offsite where it can accommodate for family needs. So that is just like a, a picture of like different places of the university. And I think we will finish there. Yeah.